Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. Happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays from here at Ayala Mall in Cebu. Um, so I wanted to talk about the holidays when you're overseas, especially here in the Philippines. I can't talk about other countries because I don't know what they do. Well, I can talk about Vietnam, I guess. Um, so, you know, Ameri us Americans, um, we want to keep our traditions going when we're overseas. We want to have that Thanksgiving dinner. We want to have that cr Christmas dinner. You know, in the States, um, when I was younger, we would, me and the family, we would go to uh, the local buffet place <laughs> for Thanksgiving. All you can eat turkey and all the sides, everything. And it was great. It was wonderful. And you, know, you could still do that. But here in the Philippines, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, you know, turkey is not a food that Filipinos generally eat. You can find turkeys around here, sure. Um, but it, it's harder. Um, there are some butterball turkeys that have shown up in the supermarkets recently. They're not gonna be cheap. Um, some restaurants haven't been able to find turkeys for their Thanksgiving dinner. So that's been an issue. Red Lizard, really good uh, Mexican food. This used to be the NBA store back in the day. Um, anyways, so what can you do when you're uh, in the Philippines? Well, they do have uh, Thanksgiving food here. The easiest place to go would be to um, any international hotel. So any, any hotel that caters to foreigners. So there's a lot of those here. You know, the Quest, the Radisson Blue, the Sheraton, um, the Waterfront Hotel. All of those uh, cater to foreigners and they're gonna have your Thanksgiving food. Um, most of them have a buffet and it runs, uh, the cheapest I've seen was 1,500 pesos, or excuse me, 1,400 pesos. And all right, this is the social. This is a place where a lot of expats like to hang out and drink until they're in a stupor. Uh, they have one of these in IT Park too. So anyways, um, so those hotels I mentioned, they all have Thanksgiving dinners. You do have to make a reservation though um, for most of them. So I know the Quest is doing theirs for 1,400 pesos. I know back in the day, this used to be the Marriott right here, but now it's the Seda Hotel. I know the Marriott used to have Thanksgiving dinners, but I'm not sure about the Seda Hotel. If any of you guys know, let me know. But yeah, uh, the Marco Polo I know is having a dinner, the Radisson Blue, the Quest, um, and there's a few uh, expat restaurants around that are offering uh, plated meals. There used to be a great place in uh, Cebu called Marshall's, which was an Irish uh, Irish bar. Yeah, I can't talk. Irish bar. But uh, it shut down during COVID. So they used to have a plated uh, Thanksgiving meal and a buffet. So you could choose, you know, which one you wanted. I always chose the buffet when I went. So, um, so yeah, you, you got to make reservations. It's usually dinner only. Uh, none of these places I mentioned are doing lunch for Thanksgiving. Um, so, yeah, if you're up in Manila, check out the uh, hotels that cater to foreigners. Uh, I guarantee you'll find one that's offering dinner. Um, in the last video, I kind of showed you guys the Christmas lights here at Ayala. So this is where, what it looks like during the day, pretty much. So, um, Christmas, same thing. So these, these, these uh, hotels I mentioned previously, they also do, most of them do a Christmas dinner too. So with your typical 
um, Christmas foods like ham, so on and so forth. Um, they have all the sides, they have the stuffing, they have all the vegetables. Um, and, and if you're going with your Filipina and she doesn't want to eat any turkey or any of our food, that's fine because most of these places do have Filipino food in their buffets too. So um, it's kind of weird to <laughs> spend 1,500 to 2,000 pesos for a buffet for Filipina who doesn't eat very much to begin with. So you kind of have to think about that too. You know, if she's only gonna eat two bites off a plate, um, that's not a wise use of the money. So like when I went to Marshall's and I took somebody there, you know, I would have the buffet and then, you know, they, they loved it because they were able to order off the Filipino menu. They, they didn't care for the turkey or any of the American stuff which is great. And some of these restaurants, like I said, they do have Filipino food in, in their buffet, but make sure to tell your Filipina, don't eat <laughs> on that day of the, uh, uh, of the meal. Don't eat anything. Let's go in there on an empty stomach. Um, yeah, so Christmas is the same thing. Uh, for those of you that celebrate Hanukkah, I'm sorry. I don't think there's anything for you here um, in the Philippines. Uh, one website I read said that there's only 500 Jewish people in the whole country. So, um, so I mean, you can check with your local uh, uh, synagogue. I know there's there's different ones throughout the country, but I'm not familiar if they if they do any special meals during the holidays. Um, so yeah, so there are options, you guys. So just because you're in the Philippines doesn't mean you have to go without. So t just make sure you go on an empty stomach and uh, just enjoy. So um, yeah, usually the buffets also drinks are extra. I mean, of course you'll get all the free water you want, but if you want pop, if you want beer, if you want wine, Unless it's actually specified that you'll get that in the buffet. Yeah, you'll have to pay extra for that. So the most important thing are, is reservations. Make sure you make a reservation because they're just going to turn you away if you show up and you don't have a reservation. Um, anyways, that's it for now. So just wanted to tell you guys happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, uh, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff. Happy Kwanzaa, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. So from Asia Unscripted, this is Jason. You guys take care. See you next time.